it sometimes helps if I turn the microphone on. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Hello. Yay. So this half of the room didn't go drinking last night. We need to practice our applause for when we introduce more people on stage. Um, lovely. So very warm welcome to uh, day three of LinuxConf. Uh, we have a couple of quick announcements. Uh, but to celebrate who actually managed to get in at 9 a.m. on Wednesday, uh, we have a lucky door prize of large, exciting, and undisclosed proportions. <laughs> so, is, can I get a drum roll in the house? Is Olivia Mahani in the room? Olivia Mahani? No? Going once? Going twice? Hopefully sold to Carl F. Carl, uh, Carsten. Is Carl in the room? He's in the AV room. <laughs> Although, thank you for volunteering in the AV room. <laughs> this is now caught on film. Is Rob Bolin in the room? Oh, no. This is not going too well. Clearly, there was a party last night. He's also volunteering somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, Jason Ryan is in the room. Jason? <laughs> Would anyone like to say their name is Jason Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm running out of names here. Mark Hopkins. Mark, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations on being lucky number five. Um, we'll have a small um, uh, token for you at the Rego desk afterwards, uh, and we'll be giving out the Lucky Door prizes at the end of the week. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Welcome. We have quite a few new attendees whose first day it is here at LinuxConf. Uh, we start the main schedule today as Wednesday. Uh, and so I just want to say a very warm welcome to anyone that has just registered and joining us for the first time in this hall. Thank you for coming. You will probably, yes, let's give them a round of applause. You will likely be asking, what's the Wi-Fi and how do I access it? And the answer is, uh, you'll be able to guess the SSID and the password is the best kept secret known to everyone here. And so we're not publishing it. It is not on the internet. Please don't tweet it. Please don't put it on IRC. If you are not sure of the Wi-Fi password, the Rego Desk, our volunteer team, and your new best friend sitting next to you can whisper it in your ear. Uh, it's, it's really complicated. Uh, a miniconf. Do we have any miniconf organizers in the room? I'd love it if you could stand up for a moment, please. Thank you for all the energy you put in. Thank you. Thank you very much. These wonderful people put together two days of exciting and enthralling and inspiring content, um, and it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have a small token of appreciation for uh, all the Miniconf organizers. Uh, so if you'd like to um, sort of come up the front uh, just uh, as we start morning tea, uh, we'll be able to share those with you. Um, but yeah, give them another round of applause. Thank you very much. Wonderful. So a couple of quick housekeeping reminders, uh, f especially for anybody that is new. 24-7 um, access to building 11 on floor zero, but please make sure you have your lanyards, your badges on you at all times. That counts as your ID for UTS staff. Um, the Aerial Function Center has helped put on food and drinks across the campus, uh, including if you head down on level three, past the lifts and turn left, you'll find a number of outlets down there, uh, including the unibar that is open. Uh, and the Unibar will also be hosting uh, the UnPDNS. I'll have some more details shortly. Um, morning tea, again, will be split between here on level five and building 11, so that if you are heading to building 11 for morning sessions, you can head straight there for morning tea. We have learnt how efficient people are at moving to building 11 and have adjusted the split of morning tea. So we won't have yesterday's problems, um, but uh, please do remember that there is a split of morning tea and you can take advantage of that. The hallway track is a wonderful and fantastic not-on-the-schedule track where you can meet and hang out with new, awesome people. 
It's also important that if you see someone that looks a little bit left out, make sure you use the Pac-Man rule and, and leave space in your circle for new people to join. And if you do need quiet, we have a dedicated quiet room over in Building 11 uh, that you can take advantage of. Uh, please don't hold any boffs or other um, uncomfy type sessions in there. It's a quiet space for people to um, get some spoons back, so to speak. Um, for any emergencies, uh, when the alarm is going off, the UTS security team and the fire wardens will be wearing a red hat. You can follow their directions in any event. Uh, and the volunteer team have also been given a thorough uh, briefing on this and can assist you in that case. Uh, St John's Ambulance is here on site. Uh, they are down on level three, I believe, at the back of the, uh, at the, back of the building. And the volunteer team can also help you uh, get, it, get in touch with the St John's Ambulance. Computers and Wi-Fi. Um, so UTS is being a wonderful host for LCA this year. Um, it is an active university campus, so there's lots of other hardware rooms, etc., around the place. Those are for students only, so please don't go exploring all the extra um, machines that are up here on these levels. Um, we've got an SSID for you, and it's important that we leave those machines for students. Uh, make sure you keep your badges on you at all times for UTS security. Um, and please be mindful that there is no food in lecture theatres and workshop rooms. Uh, instead, there is ample seating space, PowerPoints, etc., in the hallway and common areas. UTS has a no food in labs policy. And the last thing for anybody that is new to the conference this morning, this is a no smoking or vaping campus. There is a dedicated area in front of the building one uh, space. It's, it's designated there to um, have a breath of fresh air. Or please head off campus to the street uh, in order to take advantage of that fresh air. We would love for a few more people to register as session chairs. This is a fantastic way um, to uh, contribute to the conference in a small and really meaningful way, but it's also a fantastic opportunity to introduce that speaker you've, you've wanted to listen to. Uh, generally speaking, all you have to do is enter the room, double check how the speaker would like their name to be uh, uh, pronounced, and then introduce the speaker. Um, we're going to keep it really simple for you, and if you'd like to volunteer for that, you can head over to rego.linux.conf.au and you can click on a volunteer button on the schedule that says you would like to session chair. Birds of a Feather sessions are entirely self-organised, unconf, organised by you. We have a large number of rooms over in Building 11 for you to do so, and the details are up on the wiki. As of this morning, today's sessions are Tech Fashion, uh, the Free Software Foundation members and friends, and Home Automation Boff. Uh, this afternoon there is a Jobs Boff, and it's also important to note we do have a Jobs Board out towards Rego. And this evening uh, there's a Jiu Jitsu Boff in Building 11, uh, which sounds awesome. We are arranging lightning talks. We have an excellent lightning talks organiser, uh, and there will be details out on the table uh, outside this room. The details you need to know are that they are three minutes long, and that when you register, we need you to put your name, your email, your proposed topic, and we'd love to know if you're a first-time speaker. We would love to be able to highlight um, and, and welcome uh, new attendees to speak at LCA, and a lightning talk is a really wonderful way to do that. Uh, more details will be up on the wiki, and make sure you register your talks by tomorrow afternoon uh, so that we can go through and confirm back to you that you'll be speaking. The safety team. Can I get the safety team to stand up so that everybody can get to know a face? Everybody, safety team, thank you very much. So the safety team are here for you as attendees at LCA. The safety team can help um, if you're feeling unwelcome or if you feel unsafe. And we do have a code of conduct in place at this conference. It's important that you uh, read that again, double check it. Um, reach out to the safety team at linux.conf.au forward slash safety. Um, the safety team can also help you get in touch with John's ambulance. And uh, I did have one more note here. Nope, that's it. Um, so make sure you reach out to the safety team if you do need to. Uh, there's a number of different contact details up at forward slash safety. We have a charity raffle happening here. You'll have heard about uh, Code Club Australia uh, over the last few days. Uh, we do have a raffle that is uh, tickets online and we'll be selling tickets at Rego a little bit later on uh, today, I believe. Uh, now double check the wiki. We'll be running a number of sessions with Code Club Australia tomorrow. Uh, and those look really, really exciting. Uh, we also have, for the charity raffle, a number of super awesome, ex uh, exciting prizes. Mark, do we have them on display? We do, they're, they're over here. I'm too short to see through the lectern. Um, we do have two Xbox packages courtesy of Microsoft and a very large, I would really love to win that, 
um, Lego Sydney Opera House. That would keep me distracted for weeks. 3,000 pieces, apparently. Um, so that's... Sorry? Four days to build it, apparently. Uh, can we hold them up, Bruce? Lovely. So we have a Sydney Opera House. Ooh, yes. And we have two uh, Xbox packages. Uh, so those include some games. Oh, I love you folks. Um, and and this, this conference and these... Of I'm watching you, Mark. This conference would not be possible um, without the kind assistance of our sponsors. So if I can get everyone to give a, a rolling round of applause to our Emperor Penguin sponsor, IBM. Our venue sponsor, UTS. And our King Penguin sponsor, Arnett. Our Royal Penguin sponsors. The Adeli Penguin sponsors. Outreach and Inclusion. Our Fairy Penguin sponsors, Coffee and Catering, and the in-kind sponsor, I'm Tomu. Now, I'll just rem uh, remind everybody, there is information about I'm Tomu in the wiki and on the mailing list. Uh, if you've just, read, uh, just uh, joined us today, um, that's in your uh, swag bag. And if you've forgotten something, because these welcomes can go on a little bit and you can miss things, all of this information will be on my daily briefing at linux.conf slash g'day, including links to uh, important parts of the wiki and uh, news and events as they uh, occur. Now, tonight we have the Penguin Dinner. Um, I'll link to it on g'day. Uh, the important things that you need to know is that it is off-site and about a 20 to 25 minute walk down to the Maritime Museum in Darling Harbour. Uh, now, you do need to get yourselves to the Maritime Museum if you are attending the Penguin Dinner, uh, but there's no formal dress code, so your current conference attire will look absolutely fantastic. If you don't know the way or you'd like to wander down with some of the team in a group, we'll have a number of volunteers leaving here in groups from the back of Building 1 on Level 3 through the Alumni Green and out to Thomas Street and beyond. Uh, we'll be having uh, the conference blue balloons, so if you'd like to follow us, and we'll be leaving every five minutes sort of in groups, in waves. Uh, please make sure you're down there by 6.30, and there are more details up in the wiki. If you're not able to walk that distance, we have arranged alternative transport. The full details of that are in the wiki. And if you've got any concerns or questions about getting there, you can come and find me um, and reach out to the team. If you're going in a group, maybe pop it on the wiki for other people to join you. That's uh, also self-organising. So do, do organise that early on today uh, and maybe organise some really comfortable kicks to, to, to walk down there. The PDNS, Professional Delegates Networking Session, is tomorrow night. Um, keep an eye on the wiki for a couple of details, but it's here on site on campus, so you don't have to stress too much about that. The un-PDNS. So if you're not going to the, uh, the Professional Delegates uh, Networking Session, uh, then the un-PDNS is being organised down at the uni bar in the underground uh, tomorrow evening. Now, it'd be fantastic. I've been asked to ask you f uh, to register your names if you'd like to attend that. Uh, they have been able to organise a couple of sponsors to help uh, s uh, put that event on. It's a, a really fun evening that sort of PDNS finishes will often come and join the, the un-PDNS. So uh, organise that ahead of time uh, throughout today. Bruce.